fuck up this wizard. Man, pets are the best. They take like all of the damage that these guys can dish out, and it's you can just stem from a range. This is the best setup. Ranged classes in MMOs are usually very good, especially in the beginning when most of the bad guys are melee. Like, um, I remember Neverwinter, right? Most of the skeletons that you faced were uh, sword wielding or axe wielding or pike wielding, and I was charging through with my awesome, like, psychic ball magic mage stuff, because that class was amazing. Um, and I was just taking them out so fast because I kept using a magic missile, because it's a D&D game. It's a magic missile! On what? On the darkness. So this week right now is currently um, Geek Week on YouTube, and uh, there's quite a lot of YouTubers doing um, geeky videos. But um, so far, like they've only done two episodes, but the Cast right now, who are some of my favorite YouTubers of all time to watch, are doing um, D&D, and it is very high production D&D, and it is hilarious. You guys absolutely must watch it. It is fantastic. It's got like original art done to like show you kind of like what the characters are doing they've got um like little figurines and like a huge mini city um that are like showing it off too it's it's hilarious so you guys should definitely watch it i it's such a nice surprise and i'm sure shadow of israel will come back eventually Bum, ba, da, 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 owl how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? Let's find out. A one, a two, a three. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. I'm sure it varies upon like um, the amount of pressure you push down with your tongue, um, whether you just like bite the last little bit off and eat it. Um, you know, it, it varies from person to person. On average, it takes a lot. But I would not want to be that person who has to just sit there for just hours on end and just like, yo, I'm gonna eat this Tootsie Pop. Where's my dog? Let's get back. There we go. That's a nice, easy way to get your dog, your pet back. If they, if you lose them, just pick up their crate and then put it back down. Boo! That's a tough hornet. Fuck you, hornet. Fuck. Oh, that's a lot of damage that he did. I got him. I got him. This is okay. We're good. We're good. Yeah, seven. Who hit me? Huh. Thank you, no. That was awfully nice of you. Now be gone. So, what was I even talking about? I don't even remember. I was just blathering on about stuff, wasn't I? Oh, man. We, we covered a lot. Um, I don't remember at all what I was talking about. So I'll talk about Star Wars. You know, just something to chit-chat about. How was your day? Was your day good? Okay, good. Because I like, you know, checking in with you guys. What the hell is that? What is that? Quormling. Fuck you, Quormling. Anyway, so... I remember seeing the prequel trilogy in theaters. Naturally, I never saw the originals because I'm a, I'm a young blood. And, um... When it comes to Star Wars... A personal... I love Star Trek. I think Star Trek is better all around. But, um, Star Wars is good. Um, it's the only actual, like, big screen movie I can think of that uses wipes to go from scene to scene. And I never quite understood why. Um, how bad are these guys? Are they really bad? They're pretty bad. Uh, let's just go this way. Um, like, uh, you know, when they go from, like, Hoth to whatever, like, Star Wipe. Or, like, you know from bottom up wipe it, I thought that was just like lazy filmmaking but it's kind of cool because <laughs> that's like the only one I can think of that uses wipes everything else just kind of cuts to or fades or you know it does something something like that it doesn't wipe so yeah Star Wars yeah it's alright Star Trek is amazing I love Star Trek Star Trek 2 as of right now is still my movie of the year uh, that might change, but I highly doubt it because I've saw Star Trek 2 twice in theaters and I cried both times Even though I knew it was coming they uh, they played their parts so well that they made me have feels again So they should be commended upon that alone And also JJ Abrams went on record saying that he didn't really like Star Trek as a kid and he's doing the new Star Wars movies So if and he loved Star Wars, so 
So he didn't like Star Trek, and he made those amazing movies, and he loves Star Wars. So I cannot wait to see what he does with something that he loves versus something that he didn't really care about. Fuck you, Biter. That's bad at him. Bad at him. This bad idea. He's gonna kill me. Okay, time to bugger off. Maybe I can just let him kill me and respawn. I went out fighting. Remember me as I was, not as I am. Uh, okay. Uh, my colleague's dead. That's okay. Where am I on the map? I wandered very far away. Jesus. Let's start heading back towards the city. Although we're pretty close to leveling up, I must say. We might get this done. We might get this done. Uh, yeah, so we'll just kind of swath straight through this forest, kill what we can, and uh, hopefully we'll level up by the time we get back to Demaria. Demaria? Demaria City? There's a chicken over there. This is going to be like Link Chickens, where you hit one and then they all just swarm you. Uh, it's looking like it. Uh, kill you, chicken. Kill you, chicken. Two experience. That's a big guy up there. There's a chicken over here, though. Fuck you, chicken. People growing up, at least the people that I were um, friends with or people that I knew growing up, you know, everybody had their thing, right? Pokemon was a really big deal when I was a kid, and understandably so. I mean, I still love Pokemon, and I can't wait for X and Y to come out. I'm buying a Nintendo 3DS just to play the game. I mean... And in, anybody's wondering, I'm getting X. I made that decision a while ago because I'm... Um, the deer, the legendary deer guy looks so sweet. So that's what I'm doing. And the song's weird. Um, anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Pokemon was a big deal growing up. Yu-Gi-Oh! was a big deal growing up. And Dragon Ball Z was a really big deal growing up. I never quite understood that one. I never watched Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid. I haven't really watched it now. That's a fucking tough squirrel. Fuck you, squirrel. And, um... The only things I really know about um, Dragon Ball Z is that it takes, like, seven episodes for them to do an attack. That's, like, my only knowledge of it. I'm gonna get killed by a squirrel, aren't I? Uh, probably. Yeah, um... It was never my thing. Pokemon was much more my thing. I watched the show as a kid. I played the games. It was... I was all into the Pokemans. I got the cards. I was big into the cards. I still have all of my cards. And no, you can't have them. Who's shooting me? Oh, God. Knowles. Enemy Knowles. They're pretty weak. I might be able to take these guys. Fuck you guys. Got a little sound effects. That's new. Take this potion so I can polish off the other two knolls. And... Gotcha! Good. There we go. There we are. Good. Ooh, we're getting there. So yeah. Um, that's enough nostalgia. Not a whole heck of a lot going on in my life. Uh, just hanging out. Um, summer is still summer. I've got basically two months before I head back to um, college. And I'm super excited to go back to college. It's going to be amazing. Um, it's just going to be awesome, awesome, awesome fun. Because um, I'm sure I've told you guys this at some point. But um, next year, this upcoming uh, year in college, I will be in a sweet style room. So, um... Let's see, can I draw, can I explain this in here? Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, this will work. So, this gray rock was my room this year, okay? This past year, this was this was my room. Kind of small, um, it had a great view of the ocean, which is somewhere. And um, I had, there was a bed, there was a second bed, there was two desks, there was a you know, a wall here with a big window on it, and then the door was over here, okay? So, my room next year, right, is going to have a bedroom, another bedroom, and then a middle bed, which is, excuse me, a living area. So, I'm staying with uh, 
it's gonna be four people in the room including myself so i will have a roommate and we will have two beds and then two desks and a window in one bedroom and then the other two guys will be in the other bedroom and then we'll have like a couch and table and lamp and stuff and um we'll have a kitchen and our own bathroom or more of a kitchenette really but um we've got a stove top and a fridge like an actual fridge not a mini fridge and then um We've got a shower and a toilet and sinks, and the whole shebang, just kind of like in the suite with us. And where the hell's the city? Oh man, I'm off the course again. But um, it's just gonna be fantastic because, well, one thing, I'm friends with like all these guys. Um, my roommate in my room is uh, Michael from um, Guild Wars, so he and I will be rooming together. And then um, in the other room we have um, Aaron and Brian. Uh, Brian was, uh, is, um, Toilet Tip, and he did the Walking Dead video with me, so, and, uh, I'm sure you'll see, um, Aaron in a video, I will, I'll make him in a, make him do a video at one point or another, so you'll, you'll meet them all in videos, and you've already seen, seen, uh, Michael, and you've heard Brian a lot, so, um, they will not be strangers to you, and I'm super excited about it, it's just gonna be tons of fun, and, when I can decorate that place for Christmas, you better watch out. It's going to be off the hook when I get those Christmas decorations up. Um, it's just going to be amazing. I forgot how to climb up things. Is it? What is it? Oh, it's control. That's weird.